if someone gave you a gift that was utterly priceless? A gift that was one of a kind, the only one in all of existence. A gift that was endlessly beautiful and life-giving to see and experience. What would you do with a gift like that? Today is Earth Day, a day when we remember and celebrate this priceless, majestic, one-of-a-kind planet that God has given us. And it is a gift. We did not make it. We did not work for it. It was given in love, as all true gifts are. And oh, what a magnificent gift it is. From the smallest of creatures to the infinite heavens that hold us, our planet is amazing. The earth is God's playground where His creativity is most evident. Go outside and take 10 steps in any direction and you will find a miracle. Famous Harvard professor Luis Agassiz once returned to his classroom after summer vacation and told his students that he had spent the entire summer traveling and had only made it halfway through his backyard. But as humans do, we get distracted. We get in too big, a hurry, and overlook, forget, and take for granted this incredible gift God has given us. When this happens, we deprive ourselves of the presence of God, for through creation, God makes Himself known. Through creation, He says, come and play with me, Come and rest with me. Come, child, and enjoy what I've made for us. And as we continue to celebrate this Easter season, the earth itself rejoices with the miracle of resurrection. Tiny seeds dropped by last year's plants that died and returned to the earth sprout up and grow to give life. The birds build their nests one twig at a time and raise their tiny fledglings. A seemingly useless pile of scraps and refuse can break down and become beautiful, nutrient-rich soil. Resurrection is happening all around us if we have eyes to see it. But there's something wrong. Our planet, our home is suffering, in many ways dying even. Humanity has taken this priceless gift and trampled upon it. We've distorted God's command to take care of this earth into a decree to plunder and abuse it. Fires are raging, floods are rising, forests are disappearing, seas are filling with trash, animal habitats are disappearing, and animals are dying. And if we don't change, we will too. It is time for us to remember that this planet is not merely a resource for us to consume, but a living, breathing thing with which we must have the most intentional of relationships. We cannot continually take from her in blind selfishness and greed. We must learn to give back. On this Earth Day, let us remember this amazing gift that God has given us. Let us commit to cherishing our planet and the creatures with whom we share it. And most of all, may we all take steps to live more sustainably, to reduce our impact, and to improve our world. In faithfulness to God and in service to our children and their children. You have been given a gift, a priceless gift. What will you do with it?